I'm flashing my lights because I'm needing to get to a call, okay? Flashing your headlights? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, then you should have put your blue lights on then, shouldn't you? Okay, you're, well, you you're can't blocking be... traffic. No, I'm not blocking traffic. You're I was doing the speed limit, okay. sir. I was asking for you to move over. What was the speed limit? I was asking for you to move over. Sir, what was the speed limit? Are you understanding me? Are you understanding me, sir? All right. So, courtesy as you move over. For when what? When you're not passing vehicles. For what? Right. All right. For what? Obviously, this ain't going to work. Have a nice day. You too, it. Yeah, man, magic in the hood. Stopping black people like it's good. <laughs> oh God! I should go. Hey, I should go out there and record their ass. Hey, tripping! Hey, nigga, when I seen it was magic, I was like, oh, what the fuck? But I'm gonna go out there, nigga. I'm gonna go record their ass. You feel me? It's the Mexican black boy reporting live. You feel me? Police gonna learn to stop fucking with a black nigga. You feel me? Magic out here, man. We ain't scared of them, you know. We pouring lies, nigga. How you doing, officer? Same shit, different toilet? Show it, man. Hell no! What? I'm the Mexican black boy. I ain't on probation. What you think? Uh, oh me? Yeah. Do you need it? Yeah. What's up? Oh, my name is Mexican black boy. What's your name, man? Shit, I'm alive with it. Right, what's your name, dude? My name is Giovanni Yancey, man. What is it? Giovanni <laughs> Antonio Yancey, <laughs> man. Are you CPL, dude? Why are you asking me questions like that? Because you're in Calvin, you're wearing a Cincinnati Red. No, nah, I just like being in my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. You feel me? You can't ask me questions like that, sir. I can't? No, I'm a good guy. Yeah? I'm a comedian. Uh, what's your name again? Giovanni Antonio Yancey, man. Giovanni Antonio Yancey. Man. Which one? Check me or something? I'll give you yeah, the rice, too. Just go and step over here, okay? Whoa! You check me right here, officer? Go and step over here. I don't get Wi Fi over there. <laughs> You're wearing on my patience, my man. I am. My bad, officer. My bad. You gonna check me? You gonna put me in handcuffs? Yeah, when you take your phone and put it down right there. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, man. You put me in handcuffs. You didn't put him in handcuffs, officer. I'm right here on live. I was just passing by. I ain't shit on me, though, officer. You feel me? I'm a comedian and shit. I ain't. Quit playing with me, officer. Quit playing with me, officer. I ain't doing my backpack. Pretty funny. funny. Coming from work? Yeah, you already know. You coming from work? Yeah, my bitch and shit. <laughs> yeah? I was chilling with my bitch officer. Can you take these off now? Huh? Take these off now? So you can sit down in the car. Thank you. I got you. Let me get on. You can sit down in the car. Yeah. Okay. Well, I asked for your supervisor. I I I I, I asked for a supervisor. Okay. You guys have not. Uh, you guys have not given me that. This is private property. I, I would like to acknowledge that but that this is private property. Okay, but I'm not. Am I obligated to? Am I obligated? Walk up and knock on the door. But am I obligated, sir? What's that? No, you're not obligated. Okay, thank you. No, am I obligated to answer your question? No. You okay then. Well, the door, well, thank you. Well, 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 okay, thank you, sir. You guys have a good day. But I don't, I, I don't have. I, there's no, there's no warrant for my arrest. I've done nothing. But thank you. You said, you said I'm not being detained, and I choose to go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you. You, you, you guys, are, you guys are right now. Hey, listen. This conversation is supposed to be is supposed to be consensual. It's not consensual right now. I asked to speak to your supervisor. You have not obliged and done that. So I am not going to get. I don't have to. I don't have to answer any of your questions, though. I'm not obligated to do that. But I'm not obligated, and that's fine. I'm not obligated to do that. For assault, for for assault, for what? When there's people out here that see me touch or harm no one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, yes, you do. No, you don't. Okay, but there has to be a harm. You know the code. You know okay. the code. I, just I don't need the code. I, I code. stand on the law of the land. Did you guys take an oath? Did you take yeah. an oath to protect the Constitution? I don't have an oath. 
I'm not obligated in any way. I have no contracts with you whatsoever. No contracts. No contracts with the state that takes away my right. No, listen to this. Listen to this. I have no contracts with the state that takes away my right to defend myself. So if somebody comes up on me, I'm going to exercise that right, whether or not your code says so, because I don't have a contract with you. Thank you. I don't have a contract with you. You figured that out. I said that's what we're trying to. Okay, well, I don't have a contract with you. I'm not under your jurisdiction. There's no, it's not. How? You live in the state of Ohio. Okay. What? Okay. What? What evidence? What evidence do you have? What evidence do you have that any code that you say, uh, that that you that code that you say applies to me? No, I'm not a sovereign citizen. What's your name? Do I have to have a name? What's your name? Am I obligated to tell you that you have not given me? I asked for your supervisor, sir. You That's all. You, Your supervisor knows the law. I, I, I would like to speak so to somebody who would know, know the law. law. Well, okay, it, it well. It doesn't matter whether he knows the law. He can't tell you okay, because you don't know the listen, law. Listen, I do know the law. You're not, I know you're I have a natural God given right. Law, okay, well, so, I recognize. Yes. I recognize well, that I'm not a part of your society. Okay, so this, I'm this not a part of your society. I never so agreed to be a part. Huh? No, I have not kidnapped any child. There is no child inside of the house. Okay. Thank you very much. You, you, where, listen, you guys said I don't. You guys said I'm not obligated to speak to you, and I can go. So I choose to go. I've answered hey, as many man. questions. You guys have man? not. You guys have not brought me your supervisor. So you guys are not acting under your oath now. Now, thank you. Have a good day, sir. Exactly a month ago, on August third, I was arrested for uh, not wearing a mask at uh, 500 uh, South Grand Central uh, Parkway. And I know it's been a long time, but I thought uh, I'd give you guys an update on what happened. Uh, but before I do that, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to San Joaquin Valley Transparency for sending everybody my way. That was really cool. I really appreciate it, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, come to think of it. There are three types of police and citizen encounters. Number one, consensual or voluntary, where either party can walk away. Number two, investigative detention based on reasonable suspicion. And understand that reasonable suspicion of a crime cannot be based on a hunch, a gut feeling, or simply to conduct a fishing expedition. And reasonable suspicion falls short of probable cause to search, ticket, or arrest. However, it gives the officer the lawful authority to stop and briefly detain, as well as identify the person. And understand that a police officer can also do a cursory pat down for weapons if, at a minimum, the person is lawfully detained under reasonable suspicion of a particular crime and if the officer can clearly articulate why they believe the person may be armed and dangerous. A pat-down cannot be done simply as a matter of routine. Probable cause, a set of articulable facts and circumstances that would lead to a reasonable person to believe that a particular crime has been committed and a particular person and or persons committed the crime. In this video, you will see that In addition to other applicable case laws, courts have ruled that mere suspicion alone does not rise to reasonable suspicion of a crime.